Welcome back. This week we move toward the end of TECM 5191. It's module seven. You're going to spend your time gaining a new digital literacy with the CMS called WordPress and working on your web portfolio. So let me give you a few specifics about those assignments. The Gantt chart shows you have a midweek deadline to submit your screencast. At the end of the week, you complete the WordPress tutorial and submit your discussion post. Although there's no deadline related to the portfolio assignment this week, I've allocated three hours to working on it. Please remember, module eight during the last week of class ends on a Friday rather than a Sunday. There are many deadlines approaching, so manage your time carefully. I'll give you a few more specifics about your assignments in module seven in the next couple of slides. Your assigned reading in this module explains why web design is a required competency for all tech comm pros. Keep in mind that article was written 10 years ago. It's accurate for nearly every tech comm job today. To advance your knowledge of web design, you'll choose one of two tutorials available on LinkedIn Learning for the CMS called WordPress. As a bonus, you'll earn a certificate for completing either one of them. They both require around two hours of time. WordPress.com essential training is for those who chose to use the .com version for your web portfolio. WordPress 5 essential training is for those who chose the .org version. My lecture in Module 2 discussed the difference between these CMSs. You'll develop a moderate level of literacy with WordPress after the tutorial by applying your knowledge of the tool to building your own web portfolio. So speaking of the web portfolio, over the next two weeks, you'll complete it. You began planning it in Module 1. This week, I've allocated three of the ten coursework hours to this assignment. I want you to understand how I'm going to evaluate your work. First, your portfolio has to be hosted on a public website. It should be clearly targeted to potential employers. It should include at a minimum an About Me page plus two artifacts from TECM 5191. They should demonstrate competencies needed for your career path. It should be different for different students. Each artifact should include some narrative content that describes the context within which it was created, as well as the specific competencies it demonstrates. Some of those must be digital literacies. I'll talk more about the narrative content in the Module 8 overview. Along with the content on your site, I'll evaluate its style or tone and mechanics. You should present yourself as you would in a job interview. That means you can show your personality, but it should be your professional personality. And it also means mechanical flaws like typos or comma splices are simply unacceptable. Third, I'll assess the organization of your site at both the micro level, in other words, on each individual page, and the macro level, navigation within the pages on the site. The bottom line message of each page and the entire site should be easy for a visitor to grasp. You don't want to make the potential employer work hard. Information should be chunked and logically connected. Finally, I'll evaluate the visual design on your site. WordPress includes thousands of design templates or themes that you can use. Choose one that follows visual composition principles. The assignment on Canvas has links to sources that briefly explain these. It's important to understand that there are restrictions on which themes you can select based on the WordPress plan you purchased. In addition, you can only edit the CSS in a WordPress theme if you're using the .org version or if you purchased a premium or business license for the .com version. I want to briefly mention a handy tool. Our students are often disappointed when they want to add web pages to their portfolio but no longer have access to them because they were created on sites that the student doesn't personally own or that the student has abandoned for whatever reason. The Internet Archive has a tool called the Wayback Machine that you can use for free to archive web pages from this course or others that you might want to include in your portfolio in the future. It includes the images and CSS, but it does save only a single page or multiple single pages. 
rather than an entire site. You'll find a link in the portfolio assignment on Canvas. The requirements for the discussion post this week include the final time you have to share your plan for improving self-regulated learning while you gain a new literacy, this time with WordPress. You may decide to continue with the same focus area from earlier projects or choose a different one. Whatever that focus area is, you have to describe one specific technique you're going to use to improve. There's a link to the same techniques handout you've seen in Module 2 in the discussion assignment for Module 7. That post should take you around an hour. Clearly, you'll be busy this week. Get the screencast submitted as quickly as you can so that you can move on to the WordPress tutorial and working on your web portfolio. Use the assignment channel on Slack if you need me or schedule a meeting. I'm available if you need me. Good luck.